Okay, so I have made this video na kasi meron yung itong certain problem na tala ko makalat sa Facebook at ito yung problem na yan. No? And then the, let's try to diagnose and analyze the problem. And then let's try to solve no? yung mystery na nasaan ang piso. Okay? Saan daw napunta yung piso. Okay? Actually, yung piso hindi naman talaga nawawala. No? It's just a uh, misapplication of Uh, siguro or misunderstanding of what had transpired no, dun sa situation and then of course uh, isosolve natin ito in an accounting standpoint okay so dito we'll be using this excel no, to make a financial transaction worksheet normally this financial transaction worksheet is the first step in analyzing no accounting transactions especially kung uh, uh, ini-introduce pa lang sa yung accounting or basic accounting Okay, so dito we'll be using like for accounts na muna. For those who have already knowledge sa accounting, medyo may idea na sila on certain accounts like, of course, yung cash, it's pera. No, ito, yung, ito yung pera talaga ang pera. Okay, yung t-shirt, which is an asset, ilalagay natin yan as a certain account. Yung payable, accounts payable, notes payable, hindi naman nilispecify, but yung payable kasi umutang tayo dito, no? This account talks about yung utang. Well, capital actually, hindi naman natin gagamitin talaga ito. Kasi, on this problem, yung tao dito, wala naman talaga siyang, I mean, like, yung sarili niya talagang pera, ano, or sarili niyang asset, or nag-invest niya something ko lang. So, basically, ito lang yung gagamitin natin. Okay? And then, ipuprove natin yung accounting equations. Take note pala, guys, no? Uh, if you are not really familiar with accounting, meron kasi tayo accounting equation na tinatawag. Ito yung general universal rule na ginagamit sa atin not only in accounting but also in business. Assets equals to liabilities plus equity. Okay? Ito yung accounting equation natin. Yung mga assets natin, basically in this case, ito yung assets natin would be equal to or liability and equity. For more explanation, no, I have some certain lectures na no, dun sa financial transaction worksheet and introduction to accounting. So, uh, check nyo na lang yun. Okay, now let's try to analyze the problem. Ano may sabi niya? Ito yung sinasabi nung situation. Oh. Humiram ako. Yung, uh, siya, oh, kung sino man. No? Humiram ng 50 pesos kay Arian, kung sino man yan, at 50 pesos kay Chrisib. The names are basically irrelevant. Basta umutang tayo dito. The point is, umutang ka na 100 pesos from these two personas. No? 50 plus, plus 50, 100 ito ay naging 100. Oh, 100 niya. Eh. Plus, simple math lang yan. Ngayon, bumili ka ng t-shirt. Okay? Yung sa 100, bumili ng 97. Obviously, may sukli ka pa. Tatlong piso. Okay? Ngayon, doon sa tatlong piso, 3 pesos, tatlong piso na meron ka, yung isang piso, binalik mo doon sa isa, at yung isang piso, binalik mo doon kay Christine. So, basically, yung sa tatlong piso na to, yung piso binigay mo dun sa isa, yung piso binigay mo. So, may, isa kang, may isang piso pa na tira sa'yo. No? May piso pa. Okay? Ngayon, ang sabi, ang hibiram ko sa kanila itig 49, which is tama. Kasi nga, yung 50, kanina, binalik mo yung piso eh. So, yung utang natin, itig 49, 49 na lang. Simple math, it is 98 pesos. Tapos, sabi niya, plus 1 pesos na nan, ano, yung piso daw na meron pa. So, equals to 99 pesos daw yun. Ang tanong, saan daw? Ayan, ito yung, yung mystery. Saan napunta ang peso? Ang peso. Ang piso. No, one peso. Para makompleto ang 100 pesos. Well, basically, me medyo illogical yung ginawa niya dito. No? Let's try to uh, explain yan later. Pero, i-analyze muna natin kung ano yung mga nangyari using this financial transaction worksheet. Okay. First, nung umutang ka ng 50-50, it doesn't matter kung kanino pa yan, no? But, alam natin, yung cash natin na dagdaga ng 100 pesos, di ba? And then, inutang natin yan. Since inutang natin, dagdag utang yan. That's additional to accounts payable. Okay? So, yan. Yan yung 100 pesos, tapos 100 pesos, utang natin yan. So, basically, ito siya. Ngayon, bumili tayo ng t-shirt. Okay? Bumili ka ng t-shirt, nabawasan yung cash kasi nagbayad ka eh, di ba? Minus 97. At nadagdagan yung t-shirt natin ng 97. Yung asset natin. Basically, this t-shirt is an asset. Okay? Nabawasan yung pera natin, nagkaroon tayo ng t-shirt. 
Okay, so nabawasan kaya pag kinumpit natin ito, basically that's 3. Ito yung tatlong piso na maiiwan. Okay? 97 yung t-shirt. Yan yung dito na. Bumili ka ng t-shirt. Change is 3 pesos. Now, yung piso, binalik mo kay Arin yung piso, binalik mo doon kay San, sa Christine. Okay? Or in short, dalawang piso yung binalik mo. So, nabawasan yung cash natin. Minus 2. Okay, nabawasan yung cash natin. Siyempre, bawas utang yan. Minus 2. Okay? Kaya nga, pag tinignan natin, tama naman in part yung nakita natin dito. After all this, ang matitira sa atin ay piso na lang. Diba? Piso may iwan. Tapos, yung utang natin, tama rin naman, 98 pesos yan. Kasi nga, tig, tig 49.49 eh. Okay? So, ngayon, if we try to compute, no? Kasi sa financial transaction worksheet, ito yung ginagawa natin, no? Kinocompute natin yung balances ng account. So, naman tayong capital, but ito nga. Ito yung 98 na utang natin, ito yung piso. Okay? So, basically, yung na-mention natin kanina, meron tayong account equation, assets cost to liabilities plus equity. Pag kinocompute natin dito yung total assets, Basically, ang assets ng naman natin is itong cash. Ito yung piso na E1. Tama. Ito yung inad niya dito. Plus, ito yung t-shirt. Yan. Yung t-shirt na 97 pesos yung kanyang cost. So, ibig sabihin, yung total assets natin is 98. On the other hand, on the other side of the equation, yung liabilities natin plus equity. Wala naman tayong equity. So, 98 plus 0 lang naman yan, basically. So, 98, 98. Ibig sabihin, balansyado yung ating financial transaction worksheet. Okay? So, 98.98. So, ganito sana yung pag-analyze natin. No? Okay, sorry. Medyo naputo lang. No? Now, again, balik tayo. No? Uh, sabi kasi natin kanina ito, based on accounting equation, actually, ito talaga yung rational na pag-explain. Ito talaga yung tama na pag-analyze ng sitwasyon na to. Ngayon, itong 49 plus 49 is cost to 98. Ito yun. Sa kay 1. Medyo, that's actually a wrong logic. No? Maling logic yung i-add mo to. Because basically, ang 98 na to is the payable. Okay, ito yan. Yung utang yung sinasabi niya. Dalawang 49. Ito yun, yung 98. Tapos yung 1 peso is itong cash. Yan. Ito yan. Sa accounting, hindi natin ina-add ang liability and asset, no? That's illogical. That's, there's no point to it. No? Hindi natin ina-add yung asset sa kayong liability, no? Pwede pa na yung asset i-minus mo yung liability to get equity, okay? But again, there is no point of adding yung liability sa kayong asset. Yung payable na 98 sa kay 1 peso cash. That is illogical, Okay? Kaya nga, basically, yung sinabi niya dito, this is the, actually, that's, that's the catch. Kunyari, pinaad niya parang mukhang something na totoo. Pero actually, hindi talaga yan. So, so may nawawala ba talagang piso? Actually, walang nawawala piso. Kasi pag tinignan mo, ang yung assets, liabilities, and net worth, although wala kang net worth talaga dito, meron kang piso, cash, yes. Meron kang t-shirt, worth 98 pesos. Ito yung assets mo. That is equivalent to your liability na inutang mo na 98. So, balansyada tayo. Okay? Yun lang.